setting up an air-cooled grow light the right way. Air-cooled grow lights open up some really interesting areas of the plant world to the indoor gardener, but there's also a lot of confusion about how to set them up right. The really great thing about air-cooled grow lights is that they allow year-round indoor gardening with less need for additional air conditioning during the warmer months. Now, air-cooled reflectors work by allowing cool air to be passed across the lamp during operation. The most common designs feature a horizontally mounted lamp with flanges on either side to allow cool air to be ducted in and warm air ducted out. Some designs are based on a vertically mounted lamp. In both cases, the central principle is the same. Use a constant flow of air to move heat from the lamp and reflector to get it out of your indoor garden. Here we're using 6 inch Magnum XXL reflectors. Inside, we have a 1000 watt Ultra Sun high pressure sodium lamp powered by a Galaxy Dialawatt electronic ballast, safely controlled by a Helios 7 lighting controller. Okay, let's move on to the tricky part. To get the air moving, you're going to need to connect an inline extraction fan to the reflector. Many growers ask whether they should place their extractor fan before the reflector so that it blows cool air over the lamp or after the reflector so that it sucks the warm air out. Others ask if it really makes any difference at all. To explore this question, let's first take a look at how a single air-cooled light should ideally be set up to establish some basic principles. You should take your air from a dedicated input like this, either a cool adjacent room or from a shady outdoor wall, and duct directly into your air-cooled reflector. Use a flange, ducting, and jubilee clips to create an airtight seal. While it's important to have your ducting as straight up as possible, remember to give yourself enough slack so that you can move your grow lights up and down. Next, let's talk about air filtration and fan position. Inline extraction fans are commonly designed to be positioned close to exit vents so that they extract, or suck, air from a room. However, when used as part of an air-cooled lighting system, it's preferable to blow air over your lamps. That is, your inline fan is positioned before your air-cooled reflectors. Not only does blowing cool air create less wear and tear on your fan's motor than sucking warm air all the while, but you'll enjoy more control over air movement in and around your garden. Blowing creates a positive pressure inside your air-controlled lighting ventilation system. If there are any leaks, then the air will spill into your garden and be dealt with by your garden's ventilation system. Sucking, on the other hand, creates a negative pressure inside your air-cooled lighting ventilation system. So any leaks will draw in your garden's unfiltered air. You should replace your lamps every six to nine months. Disconnect the power supply and unscrew the glass cover. This reflector has quick release screws that make your life much easier. If the lamp has recently been in operation, wait at least half an hour to allow it to cool. Next, unscrew the lamp screw, turning it counterclockwise. Screw the new lamp clockwise into the fitting using a cloth or a piece of tissue paper to avoid getting fingerprint marks on the lamp. Replace the glass cover and tighten. Quality air-cooled reflectors are well sealed for maximum efficiency. Using a Jubilee clip, secure the ducting to one of the ports on the reflector and attach the other end of the ducting to the blowing, air exit end, of your 6-inch inline fan. When air-cooled lights are set up the right way, they can remove up to 50% of the heat generated by the grow lamp. The glass panel and air-cooled reflectors does absorb some of the light, particularly UV, so it's important to keep your reflector's glass panel clean and free of dust and finger marks. Finally, a quick word on setting up multiple air-cooled grow lights. You can link them up in a series like this, but inevitably, the reflector at the end of the series is going to be warmer than the reflector at the beginning. Typically, you shouldn't link up more than two 6-inch air-cooled reflectors or four 8-inch reflectors. For maximum cooling efficiency, bring in one mainline cool air duct and use T-pieces in ducting to serve each light individually. Use the same principle for extracting the air. Don't forget, if you have a question or you want to comment or respond to this video, go to JustForGrowers.com, the global garden community.